This video is about the BOE clam hinge and making your car do exactly what you see here. First we'll go over a few key features. Here we're showing the clam support brace that connects the gutters to the hinges. The hinges are no longer connected to the firewall and that's why this brace does is connect all this together that keeps your clam from ever cracking and make sure that everything's rigid when the, when the boot lid's open. One of the big challenges when trying to quickly remove the clam or just tilt the clam is what do you do with the diffuser? We designed this trick bracket that goes into place of the rear panel that connects the diffuser to the frame. It also allows for use of most of the exhaust systems on the aftermarket and we included nut certs within the panel so that it's easy to mount the license plate as you see here as well as the fasteners that go from the diffuser to this new bracket. It's CNC cut and powder coated. We supply a cable that's custom made to the right length so that once the clam is up, we take all the pressure off the fiberglass and the hinges by connecting this cable to where the washer fluid tank would normally mount. You can still use the washer fluid tank with the clam inch, you just have to remove it from its pedestal prior to lifting up the clam. We found that this works great and has no long-term negative consequences to the bodywork whatsoever. One of the challenges of dealing with a quick removal clam or a clam hinge like ours is what do you do with the battery that normally sits in the boot? In our case, we move the battery right underneath the filler neck that provides better weight distribution at, for a lightweight car like ours and also the battery bracket is anodized for corrosion prevention and of course CAD designed and CNC cut to make sure that it's a nice part to complement your nice car. Perhaps one of the most important parts of the clam hinge is the hinge itself. We came up with the idea to use a four bar hinge to clear some of the many obstacles that the Lotus threw at us when trying to tilt the clam. We've been using this hinge design for years. The parts are CNC cut, CAD designed, anodized and powder coated for long term corrosion prevention. I think you'll be impressed with the quality, the fit and finish, and overall product of the clam hinge should you get one. And so the question everybody wants to know is how do you do it? Well first to remove these two pucks. There's one on each side of the car, they hold down the soft top. We even supply a little tool to help make this job easier. Then you go to the boot. There are four thumb screws that look just like the one you see here. You take those out, you can remove them with your fingers, no special tools required. Then it's time to lift the clamp. So after all the fasteners are out, those four in the back, and the two that hold down the soft top, it should be a less than two minute job to tilt the clamp. And with some practice, less than a minute for sure. And that's all there is to it.